Hi guys, Jen here behind the camera. I'm just going in to see Dan who has a brand new caravan um, that's been delivered to us. It has um, just a factory electrical package in it um, and our client has brought it to us to do an upgrade. They've chosen us because we've done a um, full upgrade, upgrade in the past with them in one of their previous caravans and now um, they've opted for us to do it in their brand new caravan. So Dan, do you want to take it over? Yeah, g'day guys. So, as Jen said, this is a this is a returning customer um, that was super happy with the build that we previously did on their um, older van. This is going to be their forever van. So they've um, come to us with a, a a concept of what they want to achieve. So um, when they bought the van, uh, they bought the van with a basic package that comes with the van and and this particular van has a reasonably high spec basic package so it's got a red arc system in it a manager 30 um, it's only got AGM batteries but they chose that because they knew they were going to bring it to us for an upgrade anyway so with this particular van um, the the basic package as I say is is a reasonably high level package anyway so um, what we're we are going to be removing manager 30 and and the red vision system um, the the manager 30 system is just a little bit small for um, the, the, the system that we're actually going to end up building so uh, these vans um, this is a couple's van. They do have a family, but the kids sleep in swags outside underneath the awning, which is which is pretty cool. So um, they've got older teenage kids, and um, yeah, they're obviously not going to be around forever. So they're they're quite happy with a couple's van. So with our systems, as you would know already, most of the time we build them under the seats. Um, in this van, manager thirty is actually under the bed, and uh, Red Vision screen is in the overhead cupboard. Uh, so we will be utilizing some of the space. We're going to remove everything from underneath the bed. Um, we will box out the, the heater so that they end up with um, good storage underneath the bed. We're going to remove all the fusing from underneath the bed and we're going to relocate everything underneath the seat. So the system is going to be a inner drive system. Um, so we're actually going to be using for the first time the 3000 watt 100 amp inverter charger uh, We're going to have Again, so this vans come with about 840 watts of solar on the roof uh, So we're going to reuse that and add some additional solar panels uh, So there's going to be a couple of different things going on with with solar DC DC charger and a full summary monitoring package. So we're going to end up with the Cymarine system in the overhead cupboard, the inverter controller up here in the overhead cupboard. So all integrated into the one spot. All integrated into the one spot and obviously integrating the 240 as well with the inverter charger. So, so with, the, um, with the integration of the 240, does that mean they'll still have to plug in their air conditioner or will that be integrated? No, that's going to be fully integrated. So they just turn their inverter on and switch their air conditioner on when they're ready to go. And they'll have full power at any power point in the caravan? All power points in the caravan will be live, yeah. Is that outside as well? Outside as well. So we also give them the option to run their fridge and the hot water system on 240 as well from the inverter if they choose. They're going to have a fairly large battery bank in here. So there's, there's options for being able to utilise their energy how they want it. Um, so everything will be fitting underneath the seat. There's a couple of variables with this particular van. There's... Um, some uh, space issues underneath the seat here that we've got to overcome but yeah essentially consolidating everything underneath the seat is going to give them a little bit more storage up the front uh, it's going to be a lot more usable this space underneath the seat is pretty useless anyway as you Hard can see to get to Hard to get to. so there's right. not a lot of space there there's not so you'll be um putting yeah, interesting. We had a call from a client on the weekend who's from the Eastern States um, that were planning to come to us but couldn't come over. Um, and they've got a um, installer doing their job over there, but they couldn't work out how they were going to fit it under the seat. So you've obviously done this enough times, Dan, to work out how to achieve that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. There's um, obviously some some 
uh, structuring that we need to do underneath the seat with the cabinet work, but yeah, we, we obviously structure all that up so it's robust and, and can handle the weight that we need to put on there. It also centralizes the weight over the axles. Um, so that that's a benefit from a towing capacity as well, or sorry, a, a towing stability, not a capacity, towing stability. Um, yeah, so basically, it's just a, I suppose this, this is just an overview of what we're going to be doing before we pull it all apart. Because usually we show you what happens at the end, but we don't sort of show you what, how it starts. So this is a pretty normal situation for us. The van comes sometimes with a little bit more than, uh, than just a basic package, sometimes with just a basic package, but overall, we, we sit down, we get the van, we work out what we're gonna do uh, in concept and then yeah, just start, start attacking it from there. So this is a before and after. So yep. um, this is a van that's come to us with a basic package and we're going to check in and do a part two and show the installed system um, that we complete up. Sounds good. Cheers guys.